When you have a board with four or more layers and you're routing between layers, you need to make sure that you maintain a consistent return path across those layers. The easiest way to do this is to place a stitching via that connects to the ground planes near your signal via that makes the signal transition across the stack up. We can see an example here on screen. In this example, we have a trace that's part of an SPI bus and it does have fast switching rate. We can make sure that the return path on this signal is maintained in the process of transiting the stack up by placing this nearby stitching via. Now most designers will rely on an automated stitching via tool to apply those stitching vias and connect the grounds throughout the stack up. The problem with automated via stitching tools is that they place vias in a regular array. They won't place a stitching via next to a signal that's also crossing the stack up. What you need to do as a designer is intentionally place one of those stitching vias near your signal via to ensure that you maintain that return path across the stack up. Don't rely on the stitching via tool to do it for you automatically.